to take this bike off, but it's not really like I got a choice. Taking a cruiser off-road. Oh, shit. It is what it is, but this is beautiful though. Let's continue on on that road and let's see where it will take us. I don't know if it's like a dead end or what. Woo! Ha. Oh, miss, missed shift. Yeah, definitely you feel the bumps. Just gotta ride slow. And I must say it's been uh, about like two weeks now. And I definitely miss my my Africa twin, that's for sure. But this bike will do for now. Yeah, I think this road is going around the lake but I'm not gonna continue on. I know there's a, another road right on top over here with this uh, asphalt but it's nice though. Nothing's wrong by getting a little bit off-road, you know? I mean at this point this is what we got so... All right. I don't want to continue too far with this bike on the dirt road. I'm just going to turn around. But it was nice though. Just to get an idea, you know? This right here, I don't remember the name, but uh, they used to be like uh, healing waters, so that's why they have all these baths. I didn't pay attention to the sign that was out there. I know this place is in uh, Mirtia, just uh, outside of uh, a green new city, but yeah, so they have the baths. What once used to be, is not anymore. I don't know if they run out of water or what's uh, the case. But it's so nice though, I can imagine. Right, right next to the lake, it's beautiful. Beautiful but abandoned. Oh, a little lizard. Leave the lizard alone. Interesting. This right here it seems like a boiler. Yeah. And I remember uh, when I left Greece, uh, this uh, used to be in use in service but now everything has been abandoned it seems a lot of things have been abandoned
surely you'll find uh, many abetted buildings like that, homes. It makes you wonder what's the history behind it, who used to live here, what they were all about. It's pretty unique. Yeah, I definitely like uh, old homes like that, stone homes. They're pretty unique. We need to take a, a little break. I've been uh, riding for a while, but it's about four o'clock in the afternoon right now. And it's uh, 35 degrees Celsius, so it's pretty hot. And probably the humidity, it makes it even a little bit uh, worse. But I must say, it's, uh, it's a good feeling being back home, you know, after all these years. There's few things that I reminisce and there's few things that I don't miss at all, but it's good though. My feelings are a little bit mixed because definitely being born and raised here and then moving to a different country, obviously you're developing some feelings for that country too, you know, so it's not hard to compare which one you prefer more, but Greece has beautiful things, Canada has some beautiful things and obviously each country has the good and the bad. We'll see, time will tell. I would be out here with ah fuck. Oh man, I think I got stung by something. <laughs> Woo! Uh, what am I saying? Oh man. Yeah, I never really thought I would be out here riding this bike on this uh, dirt roads or gravel roads, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what I am, no GPS, no nothing, I guess we're going old school, pick a road and whatever it takes you. My grandpa's village and there's a little castle I guess you can say and back in the day they used to tell me stories about it how it used to be hunted Uh, that used to be the old elementary school uh, but I don't even know if it's in use anymore Nope It's not Looks like a fire department This is as far as we can go From what it looks like Well, not what it looks like, it is the cemetery Jesus. <laughs> I thought there used to be another entrance to it. But I guess they're just showing it into a cemetery. I don't know. Feels weird uh, walking through the spirits. Yeah, when I was a kid, I don't remember it uh, being a cemetery, but I guess they turned into a cemetery. Yeah, in this area right here, that's where they used to say there was a treasure hidden underneath here, and many people tried to get it, and apparently some of them, they never came back, or some of them that went into the tunnel, apparently there, there used to be a tunnel that goes all the way down to the, the farmland. That's the story anyways the ones that they came out either they came out crazy or deaf or blind or 
some type of, I don't know, witchcraft. I don't know what you call it. And then you have the hobby. Anyways, I feel weird talking uh, while I'm passing the dead. The, the. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of like the, uh, the fairy tale they used to tell us, but I was so young that now I don't even really remember how the story goes, but to sum it up, uh, something like that. Anyways, let's keep on going. Let's uh, head towards home. Well, I don't live in the city of Agrinio. I live outside of the city now, more in the, into the country. So there's a coffee restaurant type right by the lake. So maybe we go grab a coffee there and chill for a minute or two. <laughs> let's go. Here we are, down by the lake, with my cousin, Nick. Hello. Having some good time. I kind of cut it short uh, my video when we're uh, down at the lake for coffee with my cousin. Here's my cousin again, my cousin Nick. And uh, we're just uh, in the city of Agrino for a little night walk. Thank you for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, peace and love my friends. Take care of yourself and always stay wonderful.